we are going to find the slope and y-intercept of the line of best fit from a table of values by hand. Now, the formula for slope involves the number of points you have, the sum of all the xy's, sums of the x's, sums of the y's, and then x squared as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy out this table for ourselves, and I'm gonna give myself some extra columns. My x's are zero, one, two, two, four, and five. My y's are one, two, two, three, three, and five. Now, these don't form a perfect line. We're doing the line of best fit here, the line of least squares, if you prefer to call it that. Now, I want you to leave some space at the bottom, hope you did, and then I also want you to do x, y, and x squared. If you're being asked for standard deviation, you also need y squared, but I'm just looking for slope and y-intercept, so I'm going to leave it here. Now, what I want you to do for the xy column is take the x's and multiply them by the y's. 0 times 1, and I can do this in my head because I rigged these numbers, but whatever numbers you have here, multiply them together, put your result here. That times that, 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 and that times that. Okay, got it. If you're using a calculator to do your own chart, pause the video. In the x squared column, you're gonna take whatever these x's are and you're going to square them. If they're negative, remember they become positive here. Zero squared, one squared, two squared is four, two squared is four, four squared is 16, five squared is 25. Okay, I've done all the grunt work. Now, down here below, what I want you to do is sum each of these columns, and I mean add up all the values in each column. This one here is going to be called the sum of x. Zero plus one plus two plus two plus four plus five, that's uh, 14. I want you to take the sum of all of the y's by adding up all the numbers in this column. 5, 10, 15, 16. I want you to take the sum of xy's by adding up all the numbers in this column. I got 49. And I want you to get the sum of x squareds by adding up all the numbers in this column. 50. Cool. Cool. Again, pause the video and do this for yourself as well. The formula for slope is the number of points you have, one, two, three, four, five, six points, slope equals six times whatever the sum of your xy column was. For me, it was 49 minus, and then you have a product to the sum of the x column, which for me was 14, times the sum of your y column, which was 16, all over. n, again, is 6. This is the sum of the x squared column, which was 50. And then this is the sum of the x's, but all squared, as in like you're gonna take that number for sum of x and you're gonna square that number. The sum of my x's is 14, and then the squared gets written outside. There we go. Now this calls for a calculator, if you ask me. Well, I did say by hand, but what I really meant was I'm not using a spreadsheet program to get me the line of best fit. Six times 49, minus 14 times 16, I get 70 for my numerator. And then I can do six times 50 minus 14 squared, which is 104 for my denominator. 70 over 104 reduces, not according to my calculator, 70 over 104 reduces to 
Well, that's still not much better, 35 over 52. And that is my slope. Maybe you prefer 0.67. There you go. I like it, I like it. And then you can find the y-intercept with this further formula. The y-intercept B is one over N times the sum of all the y's, which for me was 16 minus, and then you put your slope here, 35 over 52 divided by six times the sum of the x's, which is 14. Now you, you, could, you could brute force that math if you needed to, but I'm just gonna use a calculator. 16 over six minus 35 over 52 divided by six times 14 gives me 57 over 52 or one point, I don't know, 09, something like that. The point is that you were able to solve for the slope and y-intercept using some formulas and then only a table of values, x and y. Everything else was derived from those lists of numbers. I hope that made sense. You sh you'll practice, I'm sure, in order to get faster at this. I'm pretty fast because I rigged these numbers to be easy, but as soon as your numbers get larger or more decimal or negative, things are gonna get a little uglier. Anyways, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Best of luck.